Today, I'm going to light a little bit. I'm going to do something a little more fun. Um, from going through my stuff in a bag of stuff that I had from when I was a kid, I found this. Yes, this is a laser gun. Pew pew. Pew 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 pew. This is the Galaxy Gun 2 2001. Look at that sucker. Isn't that awesome? That's right. Futuristic. It's got 2001 on it. Um, it's so a little dirty and stuff, so one of the things, I don't know if you can tell, but there's crud and stuff. I don't know where that came from. Just been sitting in the background for decades now. It does work, um, so I can show you that. Takes a nine volt battery. Nine volt. You can test those by going. But um, actually, not that bad. Um, if you don't get a zap, probably not gonna run when you need it to run. But anyway, probably. So put the battery in. Right there. Do -do -do. And uh, put the cover on right there. I don't know. Um, doesn't really blast any lasers or anything. And they have it anyway. I'll go ahead and uh, tear this apart and take this apart and then clean it and hopefully put it back together again. Plus, we'll also be able to see what's inside the sucker. Fire there. Got to put it back. That's done. And this, in theory, feed out. But yeah, when they only manufactured this. Looks like they uh, had uh, not cleared the wire. So it's lucky this even actually worked. Could have snipped it by doing that. So now this is so fat that I can't get it. Through, but I might be able to get it through without the other wire. So there we go. Now we have that. Um, this should be separate now. Pull off the speaker. Which can be done there. So we have pieces parts, and these parts. I'm, uh, I'm going to. I'm not going to force these apart because that's like a problem. Probably going to be a problem going back together. So at this point, I'm going to clean it as best I can inside and out. And uh, 
Yeah, see, it's kind of messy, so. I'm just going to take it to a sink. Use some, I think just soap or something, something not too harsh. And let it dry, and then we'll probably have to come back to this way later. Okay, back. Let's see where we are. Where are we? I got this fed back through there. It was a little. It took a while, and I figured it would, and rather than video, I don't know. So, oh crap! Need to heat up the soldering iron, but you can see it. Uh, there's still scuff marks and a little discoloration, but most of the dust and crud is gone. So, it's looking nicer. It's obviously, it must it has a little more scuffs on this side than on the other side. That because the button holds it up, but and then I had to go back and rewash the button, or not rewash, but wash the button. So. Um, now, do we remember what goes where? I also took a photo of it, so I didn't, since having a video of it really didn't help much. sound. And it changes. So, good to go. Pop out the battery. And we can reassemble. So this should just... Let's do something a little different than they did. Let's not screw the uh, wire. Let's watch it not work because it's not screwed. Anyway, let's go in there. Stickers in, move that wire. Two screws, one there, one there. Alright, well, it should just be put this back together. Nowadays, this would have been set up so it snap all together and it took it apart, it would have broken to a million pieces. The little control board would have been a little chip. Probably would have made a hundred different sounds. But it wouldn't have a that would cost too much. So they'd probably have a little up arrow and down arrow button momentary switches. Which would then trigger the different changes in the sound and then the trigger would be a little micro switch that would push into you. And the whole thing would probably be about half the size just because it could save them. 
Mm, let's see. Yeah, because of that, and that'd be an LED. Probably wouldn't run it. need to run it. I'm not sure. See, it has one, two, and then laser control. Here we go. La laser control. One. And then there's a one. There we go. A one, two. Or is that 12? I don't know. Maybe this is one through 12? Except it goes all the way around. So, who knows? I don't know. I'm just going to put that on there. Well, just for the heck of it, let's put it on laser control one, because it doesn't really matter. And put the battery in. And... Oh. Does it work? Yes. Yes, it does. Let's kill this light. Galaxy Gun 2, 2001. Uh, let's go through all the uh, sounds, see which one's the best. Oh, somebody's calling, better answer. That was not too bad. That sounds like something in a spaceship be going when you're losing oxygen or something. Somebody else is calling on a different phone. That was not too bad. Another warning. That'd be the beam that you use to cut something with. Focus beam so you can like, or maybe heat up a rock so you can stay warm. It kind of flashes, so it's not too bad. That one just sounds like it's not committed to it. This is probably it. Most like a pew pew sound. You don't have to keep going pew 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 pew. You can just go. So, that's it for today. It's all cleaned up. Works. I didn't screw it up. Um, hold on. Looks, uh. Not too bad. Yeah, crank up some light. And uh, see, it's uh, actually turned out pretty well. So, now I have my gun. I don't have to go pew 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 anymore. So, that'll do it for today. Bye.